there and welcome to this week's broadcast. I am super excited to share over the next several weeks, short interviews with some of my students. Now, these are students who joined my mini course from Doodles to Dollars, and then they came into my signature program, the Pattern Design Academy. And I think you're gonna be very inspired to hear about what they were doing before they learned about surface design and what they're doing a very short time after coming into my hashtag Anne's Universe. Without further ado, let's jump in to this week's interview. I'm super excited to have Regine Malord here. Hello, Regine. Hello. Uh, Regine, tell us where you are in the world. I am in Brockton, Massachusetts. In Brockton, is 30 minutes south of Boston. And talk a little bit, Regine, about the work that you've been putting out already, because you posted inside the group quite a few patterns that you had done and that you put out on Society6. And how is that going? What Talk a little bit about sort of what, just how you've been approaching, starting to sort of get your work out into the world. First of all, I have to say that I'm so glad I, I did join. It, it went faster and I learned faster than I expected to to learn because I don't know anything about Adobe Illustrator. I've tried the past couple of years, you know, I got on Skillshare and I tried, you know, Canva and I tried some other uh, software and it just was not working. And, you know, you get started and you get very frustrated. I get very frustrated when things don't work with technology and I just want to just throw it out. And this was not the case. So I'm so grateful that, you know, I'm really pleased with, you know, how you taught us. So I found that I learned really, really fast and I was able to do way more than I expected. So yeah, so I have, I have that one collection. I actually picked a few of the designs and put it on Society6. And since then, I did create a number. I think I have like 21 items out there, designs, including some of the paintings, because I was able to take pictures and, and put those out there too. You know, in terms of the process itself, it's been very simple and very easy. And it's very rewarding to see your creations out on, you know, real pieces, you know, of, you know, like on, on a duvet cover, on a mug. I actually got my mug here. I ordered it so I would see what it looked like. Yeah, and I'm very pleased to, with it. You want to touch it? Yeah, yeah. I'll show so, us, show us. So that's, that's the one. Oh, it came out great. Yeah, they came out really, really nice. So, and I wanted to make sure at least, you know, it's, is it really? Cause I, I was a little afraid. So, is it really going to look like, like what I think it looks like? Is it, so design going to be too small, too big, but it, it came out perfect. So I'm very pleased with it. So it's, it's been a very rewarding, very satisfying journey. So far, I want to create more. I actually working on doing some work for Spoonflower. But before I, I go to these other platforms, I'm taking a little bit of time to think about the strategy, kind of what I really want to put out there and, and what, how best to approach it. Cause I've gone on Spoonflower and there are some very beautiful designs. Oh my God. There are some magnificent artists out there. And I want to make sure that what I, bring out there is something that comes for me that's a little bit unique. So I'm spending some time because I had some stuff that I thought I was going to put out there and I said, no, I'm going to spend some time and take through this and find out what my my unique design, you know, my niche, like what is it that I really want to bring out there? And I think I found it, but I'm going to have to do some work creating new patterns for that. You know, the great thing is that I've been working from home. I think we're moving towards more of a hybrid with just going into the office you know, maybe a few days a week at the max. So it's been working really well that way because I can get up early in the morning and come straight down to my studio and then do, you know, work. You know, I try to get up really early, but it doesn't always work. At least at least I have, I have them, you know, at about an hour in the morning and I can do some work. Typically what I will do in the morning would be maybe do some sketching or I, I've actually, since I've taken... The pattern design, I, I bought a, a book about, you know, how to draw flowers. It's really good. It just kind of shows you, you know, how to look at the shape and then continue on to the actual flowers. So I've been doing that, you know, as my kind of my hundred day 
challenge. Yeah. It hasn't been consecutive, but I, you know, and that's been really, really great. I really enjoy that because it's something that puts me right into feeling that I've created something right in the morning. And then I can just leave that and go do my regular work because for me to stop doing any work in terms of the paintings, I really need over an hour to just really kind of delve in and if there's a work in the morning. So then, you know, so I'll work, you know, I work all day. And then in the evening, after I've given myself a little bit of a break or for a walk, I'll come back and I usually work on the pattern design work because that's, that's just like feels kind of feels easy you can just like you can uh, usually get into it and then don't realize that it's, it's like 10 o'clock and oh, yeah I'm yeah the time <laughs> the time totally oh, thank you again so much and bye for now 